In this lecture, we're going to describe the first method used to manufacture alkalis and also say how it caused pollution. Now, the first method used to manufacture alkalis was called the Le Leblanc process. And you needed, first of all, some salt or sodium chloride and you needed some sulfuric acid. And the blank process reacted the salt with the acid, the sulfuric acid. And then after that, you'd have to heat that mixture by burning coal. And you'd also need to heat it with some limestone. Now, salt is also known as sodium chloride. Limestone is made from mainly crystals of calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid is H2 hydrogen 2 SO4 now what happens is in the reaction the sodium combines with the carbonate to form I'm sure you've guessed it sodium carbonate now, this is an alkali, and the alkali can be used to make things like glass and other chemical processes which are quite important. So this method, the Leblanc process, was, was able to produce thousands and thousands of tonnes of sodium carbonate, so we didn't have to collect urine or burn um, birch wood trees or seaweed anymore. But as you know, atoms can't be made or destroyed. And you may be wondering where the chlorine and the rest of the substances went after the sodium carbonate was made. So before we tell you that, remember that first of all, the process of the Leblanc method of making alkalis requires a salt, sulfuric acid, and then you heat the mixture with burning coal and the mixture is mixed with limestone. So as you know, the Leblanc process produced sodium carbonate, otherwise known as soda, and that's a useful alkaline. But it also produced pollutants. The first pollutant was called galigo. And galigo is a solid material and for every one tonne of soda, approximately two tonnes of Galago were formed. And Galago itself doesn't seem very harmful, it just sits in the land. And they used to bury or put Galago on specialised sites to um, get rid of it. However, Galago releases, after time, a chemical called hydrogen sulfide and hydrogen sulfide has a smell of rotting eggs oops Let's try and fix this so that hydrogen sulfide was released into the air over time and hydrogen sulfide is incredibly poisonous to um, the surrounding plants and animals so it killed almost all of the greenery in the area and we call those sites brownfield sites. Now the brownfield sites are called brownfield sites because the soil um, is left over and no plants grow and really once that's happened hardly anything can grow in the future. At the moment in England there are still very many brownfield sites that can't be used to grow crops so we use them for things like golf courses and rugby pitches. And there are some methods of gradually restoring the brownfield sites, but at a huge expense. So, remember that Galago is produced by the Leblanc process, and if the solid waste is left on the fields, gradually it produces hydrogen sulphide. But another gas that's produced was hydrogen chloride. Now, hydrogen chloride is a colourless gas 
very corrosive and um, dangerous and harmful to plants and animals. So LeBlanc decided to inc include in the method a way of getting rid of this gas into the atmosphere, which doesn't sound like a brilliant idea, but he felt it's better than leaving it near the land. So huge chimneys were built in the hope that the hydrogen chloride gas would be emitted from the chimneys and rather than be moved to the ground, it would stay in the atmosphere and not damage plants. The problem is, hydrogen chloride tends to sink as it's, it's more dense than air. So once the chimneys emitted hydrogen chloride, it sank and started to pollute the ground. And because of that, huge areas around power plants, or sorry, around um, factories, were polluted and almost all the greenery and animals and plants died. It's incredibly poisonous. Now, a group of scientists came up with an idea to prevent the hydrogen sulfur, or sorry, the hydrogen chloride from causing a danger. Because they realised that hydrogen chloride reacted with water and it produced hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid um, is a liquid, not a gas, so it doesn't have to be let in the atmosphere. And it could be safely stored um, without ruining the habitat. It wasn't long after this that people realised that hydrochloric acid had a use. And that actually we could use HCl as a bleach. So not only were we solving a problem with pollution, we were also inventing new chemicals with the waste. And that pollutant was actually used in a positive way to make bleach. So to recap, the process to form alkalis, well the first process, was called the LeBlanc process. It required salt and sulfuric acid and then this mixture was heated with burning coal and limestone to produce sodium carbonate. But you also got a release of hydrogen chloride gas and hydrogen sulphide released by the solid Galago. We then learnt that this gas, hydrogen chloride, could be formed into hydrochloric acid when mixed with water, and that was a way of preventing economic damage and environmental damage, and was also a way of making bleach.